Namaste and welcome to September. Namaste, beloved ones, and welcome to a, I, you know, the words that just came were fast and furious months because there's, there's so much happening this month and most likely you're already tuning in going, oh my gosh, when are you going to get this video up because there's a lot happening already and that is absolutely the truth. You know, one of the things that we're, we're going to go through this a, a little bit step by step because there is so many pivotal uh, critical incidents is coming. However, the thing I want to just mention right at the onset is what we're describing is an energy that will carry forward through the end of the year, yeah. the impact of what's going on this month. So please pay attention, listen carefully, open your heart because this information will affect you in a deep and profound way. You know, it really will, and, and thank you for finding us here. So let's dive right in, shall All we? All right. Because there is so much going on. Now, one of the things we normally don't talk about are like the astrological alignments of a month. However, there is so much going on in September that, that we have to include it. We just kind of use that to people that that's their specialty. However, remember, number one, we are already in a very, um, I, I'm going to use the word beautiful because it is Mercury retrograde. Remember, Mercury went, to, went direct August 30th, and it's going to stay direct virtually all month long. Now, this is a retrograde that is about restoration. It's about righting old wrongs. It's about bringing things back together. It's about remembering that we are meant to live in harmony with each other, not disharmony with each other. You know, uh, last month we talked about uh, using the energies of the time for healing. This comes to a crescendo now in September. The retrograde, all retrogrades give you an opportunity to uh, return, review, repeat. You know, they tend to be a little, uh, a little bit like sand in the wheels of moving forward sometimes. <laughs> this retrograde is far more oriented toward healing what was beneath the surface, Absolutely. what was unresolved. It's time to resolve, it's time to renew your empowerment, renew your authenticity by revisiting and releasing that which was hidden. Now, that's going to be a lot. Um, you know, we, you, if you didn't watch our August video, go back and watch it because we talked about how the second half of August, by the end of August, things that would have normally been seen as insane would be seen as, as almost normal, right? Yeah. And, and that very much came to pass, and we're seeing that. Now, this goes right along with what's happening September 1, and it doesn't matter what time of the month you're listening to this video. September 1, we have a new moon solar eclipse. So we have a very powerful eclipse, and this is not the first eclipse of this month. We're going to be talking about that as well. But what, what it is, is it's about a return into the light. You know, this cycle, this, this very powerful Mercury retrograde is, as Shree mentioned, resolution, restoration, healing old wounds, mm -hmm. letting things just finally, finally come to balance, come to harmony again. Then on top of that, we're hit with this whammy of boom, retrograde, boom, new moon, so we're in that void, right, that moment of creation, mm -hmm. solar eclipse, a return to light, if you're willing to see it that way. Now, one of the things about a solar eclipse and, and all forms of eclipses is, is, is look at the symbology energetically. The light declines and then comes back. Yeah. You know, there's a moment of void. There's a moment of darkness. And, and, and truly, that's very similar to the new moon energy, a moment of void. Mm -hmm. Well, in this particular month, that moment of void with the solar eclipse can stimulate fear. Yeah. In, a, in a more profound way, because we have a couple of layers of energetics going on. You take a look at the world events, take a look at what the news uh, is broadcasting your way. And, and it's it, going to get worse. It's going, especially yeah. as we move into the Ooh. middle of the month, uh -huh. it's going to get very easy to be seduced by fear-based beliefs, actions, and thoughts. And this will indeed in, impede you. Yeah. This will indeed be sand in the machinery because if we do not heal that which is uh, called latent fear, for example, you might find yourself becoming more critical of yourself, critical of others. You know, it's that judgmental, this isn't right kind of energy. Well, that's an indication of two things. One, an indication of unconscious hurt, mm -hmm. that you would have a judgment about someone else. Right. And two, an indication that it's time for a higher morality. 
And that higher morality means greater authenticity. Be the truth of who you are. You know, this is so critical, Sri. This is just so critical. This is a month about really living your truth, speaking your truth. And the first half of September, from really from the moment the retrograde began, from August 30th until September 16th, and we're going to talk about that in a moment, but that first half of September is about speak your truth, say your truth, live your truth, stop hiding, stop pretending, and pay attention to those that are. There is going to be a vast manipulation energy. Go ahead. Please. No, no, just, just no, in, no, no, in line no. with this, it's important to recognize that part of the healing is making amends where it's needed. What have you hidden from yourself? You know, or this, others. What have you hidden from others? And usually we hide because either there's fear or there's a lie at work. Yeah. It's time to, see. to make amends, meaning to do what needs to be done so that you can be in a state of forgiveness toward others and yourself and thereby lift into your higher authenticity. Now, this is so important that Shri and I are releasing a second video, so look for it, where we're going to share our truth. We're going to reveal some things that we have held in for a very long time. And it, it has a lot to do with um, what we want to call the deception that's going on in the New Thought, New Age, Ascension community. It's huge. We are um, ready to speak about it. It's We've been very careful not to say anything about it. However, just as we are kind of coming out, out, uh, with this second video and so look for that very shortly we are also saying it's it's time to speak your truth especially in the first half of September if you choose not to you're going to find that the fear-mongering is going to get huge fear-mongering terrorism uh, political strife manipulation those that choose to twist the truth you'll find that you'll you'll be in like this pessimistic depression cycle kind of what Shri was just mentioning now this is all the first half of September yeah. so this brings us to mid-month September 16th and chances are we're going to send out another video then because there is so much going on September 16th you know when there is a lunar eclipse you once again you're dealing with the light appearing, uh, uh, declining, and reappearing. Only now we're on the other side of the sun, so to speak. And this is the, a full moon lunar eclipse on the, the 16th, A guys. solar eclipse is about an interruption in the life. Exactly. And the lunar eclipse is about an inter, inter, uh, interruption in the reflection, in the in the inner peace. See the balance? And, and so it's an amazing bookends kind of month. Yeah. However, there is an opportunity for confusion. There's an opportunity for entrapment. Yep. Now, what I mean by entrapment is if you had been um, wound up in some form of self-deception or fear it may accelerate mm -hmm. full moon. so there is this September 16 full moon lunar eclipse this is when things can get really crazy so it starts the second half of the month and the second half of the month is all about taking all that wisdom, all that discernment, all that truth, all that resolution, all those healing of old wounds and just letting everything become vibrant and throwing it into the wisdom of divine service. Let service be your guide and through that you're going to discover incredible amounts of wisdom plus you'll be able to take yourself to new levels of discernment, new levels of spiritual high, new levels of spiritual freedom. You'll be able to free your mind and become incredibly wealthy in spirit, thereby able to harness the abundance of the universe into your life. Just give it all to service. Now, I want to just review this a little bit because there's a lot of information here that, yeah. that you do need to kind of personalize and say, how does this fit with the greater flow of my life? But the whole concept of personalizing, meaning I, I identify, I take responsibility for, that can be a slippery slope during this time if you're identifying with fear or you're identifying with a teacher or a teaching that promotes an instability or a lack of self-trust or keeps you stuck in your mind and we, we have a lot mental. to say about right, this just, in the other video you know when we're, we're all living on a game board but when you start believing it's real when you start to look at this stuff on the television yeah. and you decide this is a real threat yeah. or this is a real limit you have personalized that as an undercurrent of fear that you're saying, I accept this 
is my permanent identity. You know, just be careful about, there's a lot of spiritual teachers out there right now talking about how the war has already begun, and you better be aware of the war and the blah, 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 blah. Guys, no matter how well intended you think that information is, it's trapping you in the paradigm. And again, watch the other video we're going to release. These are toxic energies, and there are very toxic forces at work on the planet right now. Right. And guess what? September 24th, okay, we're going to get to, well, let's talk about September 22 first, because after the 16th, okay, <laughs> we have this full moon lunar eclipse. Right. And there's a momentum. Ooh, there's a momentum huge. that's happening. So, so this identifying with fear, the momentum will be you're going to move further away from your divine truth later in the month if you start out that way. Versus the healing uh, process, yeah, moving through forgiveness, restoration, and lining up with your authenticity. Then the second half of the month Woo! is a movement forward. This is why divine service fits the bill. And remember that divine service doesn't mean that you throw everything away. Divine service means every action you give to spirit. In every conscious breath you're saying, okay, let me be you. Let me be the divine. Let mm -hmm. me see the divine. Just be the ultimate namaste. Be the one who is the creator. And on September 22nd, we, and I, you got to love, you know, from an ascended numerology perspective, the two and the two is extremely powerful. And for those of you that don't know about ascended numerology, go to our website, shankara.com, go to our home study, learn about ascended numerology. So on September 22nd, two things happen. Don't you love it? It is simultaneously the day that Mercury is going to go direct. Wow. Mm -hmm. And the restoration of balance of the Equinox. I mean, how outrageous is that, that both of these are coming together as a propulsion energy. Now, that propulsion will propel everything. And again, this is why this is a month to speak your truth, live your truth, be your truth, and then give it all to service, ignite the wisdom, the abundance, and the creativity of the universe the toxicity and we need to talk about that yeah, yeah. there is a toxic manipulative stream of energy that has entered into everything everywhere and we're going to be talking about this in the other video but this is why on saturday september 24th please 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 join us go right now to shriankara.com click on transforming toxicity and and let us offer you some incredible beautiful ancient wisdom to navigate these times yes. and it's, it's it's a powerful gift and it's a, a telejourney it's three saturday mornings for like an hour and if you can't be there live you get the videos in the workbook but what's going to happen is that together we'll offer you a way through these times to help restore your soul's consciousness your journey of enlightenment and tools for dealing with this outer conflict it's three weekends just three hours, three Saturdays to be in spiritual community, to learn and to thrive. And it's incredibly affordable. And remember, what we're offering, what we're sharing, we're doing with direct guidance from the Archangelic realm, the Ascended Masters. And, and what we're sharing are ancient gifts to understand about these toxic forces so that you become your spiritual teacher. You are the true teacher to yourself. Your heart found this video. Your heart wanted to connect with what's going on in September. And let's talk about how September ends. Well, before, before we get there, we were right on the equinox here. <laughs> exactly, the 22nd. You know, it's such an incredible month with a Mercury retrograde causing this retrospective energy, energy along with the the two eclipses causing a deepening of that and yeah, a expansion. caution about personalizing mm -hmm. or personifying mm -hmm. with forces that are not true for you. Right. Then we come to the equinox, which for those of you in the Northern Hemisphere, what's falling away? Right. It's the time of, of, of that release. Ooh. For those of us in the summer, uh, Southern Hemisphere, it's springtime. What are we renewing? Yeah. You remember, there's two faces of every coin. There's what's falling away and what's coming in. Yeah. Be conscious. Be, be, be in the t intention. Because the month ends just as it's come in. We're right here, September 1, where we are having this powerful solar eclipse during the new moon. And how does the month end? September 30th with another new moon. We will be continually creating, we, all of humanity, into October, November, December, well into 2017 and beyond. Pay attention. 
bring yourself into the moment of knowing this is an intensely powerful month and you can ride it at the end of the month if you really give yourself the gift if you're feeling depressed listen to this video again if you're feeling out of, out of touch listen to this video again send it to your friends get it out there let it be a voice outside of the other predictions and you'll do great we're at a time where more than ever <coughs> the energies around us are saying wake up Yo! who are you really what is the fabric of the universe? Mm -hmm. It's love. Are you going to align with that or are you going to stay in the deception? It's, it's that kind of culminating moment that is there for all of us to use as a lift not as a threat. There's a lot of deception in September. Make sure you check out our other new video which will be posted in just a day or two about Sri and Kira talking the truth, bottom line, and until we have the gift of seeing you then, Join us September 24th, Transform Toxicity on behalf of yourself, on behalf of your family, on behalf of the world. September is awesome. Allow it to be. Invite yourself to break free, to free your mind and fly. Namaste.